In lesson 4 of the playlist, we coded to create buttons, text boxes, and labels. Instead of using code, we can simplify operations using Qt Designer. In this lesson, we will design a simple calculator as in lesson 4. But instead of creating buttons, text boxes, and labels with codes, we will use Qt Designer. Now let's create a desktop project. You can find the object you need in these tabs. We will add a label, button and text box to your project. First, let's add two labels and set their names. From this tab, we can set keywords and access the objects in the application. We will do this in other objects. Now let's add two text boxes. We can run the program in this way and control its appearance. Now add four buttons and set their names. Create tags to access buttons and text boxes. Create a label for the result. Edit the tag and name of the label. Run the program and check. Save your designer project in your code file. We have completed the design part. When the QT designer section is complete, Check the Object Inspector section. Make sure the classes and tags are the same. Now it's time to code. The Qt Designer we saved in our code file is here. Now we need to convert this file to .py file. We can use this code in the terminal section. We created the codes we made in our previous lessons easily thanks to the Qt Designer. Let's start creating the project file. Import the necessary files to create the desktop application. Import the Qt Designer file that we converted into a .py file to the code file. Create a class for processes. Create a main function and take necessary actions. Create a desktop app launch function outside of the classroom. Make basic settings in this function. Call the function and run the program. We used a lot of code in the previous lesson. In this lesson, we used less code because we did it with the Qt Designer instead of coding the design. Create a calculation function as you did in the previous lesson. In this function, do the calculations with the if statement using sender. Task the buttons and call the calculation function using the click connect method. Show the calculation in the result label. Run the program and check the calculations. As we can see, we can produce desktop applications efficiently in a much shorter time using Qt Designer. If you have any question let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts in order not to miss the programming related posts.